Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, after a cloudy start to the day, it turned out to be a pretty nice afternoon. And now as we head into the final weekend of April, it looks okay. We're going to have to dodge some scattered showers both days. But when it's not raining, it's going to be pretty nice, especially tomorrow. But uh, Sunday, kind of windy and if not very windy and, and chilly. It's going to be feeling more like the middle of spring than the uh, latter part of uh, April. As we check out uh, the almanac from today, 53 the low, 67 the high within five of the average, which now sits at 72. 55 in Henderson was not correct. The thermometer stopped working out at the airport there this morning, but everybody pretty much came in uh, mid to upper 60s this afternoon. We'll be a little bit warmer tomorrow and then chillier on Sunday and Monday before temperatures eventually warm back up again later in the upcoming week. Just false returns blossoming around the radar site here on Live First Warning Doppler, but by daybreak tomorrow morning, some scattered showers will begin to move into our southwestern counties. And that'll be wave number one for tomorrow. But a nice quiet evening as our Heads Construction Tower camera overlooks the Highway 41 strip in Henderson. Uh, downtown Evansville, uh, under partly cloudy skies, our Superior Ag Tower camera with a temperature right now of 54. Winds are calm, and we have temperatures now continuing to fall through the 50s. We're pretty much running 50 to 55, and we're going to wind up between 45 and 50 degrees, which is seasonable, but a little chillier than it was last night. All the severe weather is still well down to our southwest. A line of strong to severe storms rolled across the eastern half of Texas today, and what's left of that line is now pushing off into the Gulf of Waters, although down on the Rio there, you got a severe thunderstorm warning with that cluster right on the uh, Mexican border, but that is moving on out. We have no severe weather to worry about, and that's a plus. You know, 20, let me say 22 years ago last night, we had the F3 tornado that hit Providence. So our weather can get very active this time of the year. This cool air is keeping all of that at bay. But you can see the showers expanding across northern Arkansas. That wave is going to move into our southern counties after daybreak tomorrow morning. So for western Kentucky, especially the southern third of our viewing area, the best chance of rain tomorrow will be in the morning and early afternoon. For the rest of us along and north of the river, the best chance will be later in the afternoon. You'll see why here with Future Tracker clouding us up overnight. And then by 6 a.m., you can see a few showers getting into areas along the Western Kentucky Parkway. They continue tomorrow morning. But they never quite get up to the metro, but Madisonville, Hartford, Beaver Dam kind of on the edge of that rain, which should begin to pull away early in the afternoon. And tomorrow will feature more clouds than sun. But as that wave pulls away, we see a few showers and maybe a thunder shower forming along the cold front coming in from the northwest. And ahead of that front, temperatures will warm up some. It'll be breezy with high temperatures running at about 65 to 70, forecasting 69 here in the metro. So the front comes through late in the day. Those showers will quickly fade away after sunset. A second front comes through around sunrise on Sunday with some spotty showers. Behind it, a mix of sun and clouds. It turns very windy and chilly as at least a few showers develop moving in from the northwest in the afternoon. High temperatures struggling to make it up to 60 degrees and with that wind gusting over 30 miles per hour, it's going to feel a lot chillier than that. We're down into the low 40s by daybreak on Monday, kind of on the edge of some low clouds that will continue to kind of increase across the area Monday afternoon. Maybe some spotty showers, but they'll be more likely in our northeastern counties, but highs again only around 60 degrees. So overnight clouds increasing 45 to 51. More clouds and sun tomorrow with scattered showers. More in our southern counties during the morning and early afternoon along and north of the river. More mid to late afternoon with a windy, breezy high of 65 to 70. A mix of sun and clouds Sunday. Very windy Windy and chilly with a few showers developing 59. We're still chilly Monday, cooler than normal Tuesday. The pick days of next week, Wednesday and Thursday, 69 to 74. And eventually we get into a more active spring like pattern with scattered showers and thunder showers returning late Thursday night into Friday. All right, thank you, Wayne.